Hi guys, this is the Petite Baker. Welcome to my channel. So in today's recipe, I'll be showing you how to make suji ka halwa, also known as semolina pudding. Perfectly suitable for Navratri and many more festivals coming ahead. So everyone watching this, wishing you all a happy blessed Navratri. So friends, let's get started. Today I'll be using semolina, clarified butter, sugar and dried fruits. Although they are optional, but it's festival time so I would suggest you to add some. In low heat, dry roast semolina for 3 minutes. Then add clarified butter, also known as ghee or ghee. You can also alternate this with vegetable oil or unsalted butter. I'm using fine caster sugar, but you may use any sort of white sugar. Instead of sugar, you can also use dates if you're diabetic or no sugar diet. To avoid sticking and burning, regularly keep stirring. Once the semolina is nicely roasted in butter and it starts to sizzle, it's time to add dried fruits too. During this, the dried fruits will also get gently roasted. I would suggest to still not give up on stirring. Now it's time to add half a cup of water. Adding water gives that final boil to each semolina grain as each one starts to rise a bit. After the water is well dried, ta-da! It's ready to be served. Really friends, believe it or not, it is this simple. So friends, why not make it, share it and enjoy this Navratri with some sweetness. After plating it up, at the end I will garnish it with more dried fruits. Okay friends, that's the end of the recipe. 
there you go that's our delicious sujika halwa also known as semolini pudding I hope you enjoyed my this recipe too. Once again, happy Navratri. Take care and see you next week. Thank you so much guys for coming and watching this. Means a lot to me and my channel. Thank you. Feri betola.